So there's a lot to be said with these fruit tart, fruit tart, or Norse rune, Norse mythology rune. So if you see this one, that one right there, right? For some reason, that just makes me fucking, it just makes me think about shit. Because, like, if you can see this right here from my diagram. You see that? That's what that room looks like to me. So yeah, wow. Right. Really weird to think about. Just thinking about it. So let's look up all this shit on Google to see what Google says about it. that picture. So there it is. That's what I that's what I found. Oh there's flat earth society over there. Well I believe the earth is flat. It is flat. You see the reason why I think it's flat is because they don't want to sh they don't want you to know about the center. It wouldn't work if you thought about it. But the compass. See that red arrow that's pointing north? That is where the Holy Grail is. That's where the goddamn. Where the North Pole is, where the hold is, it's all pointing north. Let's look at Instagram. The number six and the hexagram have an obvious relationship. At its center is a hexagon, six sides surrounded on all sides by six equilateral triangles, or it can be seen as two triangles intersecting each other, each with three points. Three plus three equals six. All the angles are 60 degrees to make up 180 in each. All of the angles divide into a full circle. 360 degrees six times. Everywhere you look it at, it, everywhere you look, it represents six. The origin of the symbol and its true meaning. Kronos, the Greek god, is the son of the universe. Kronos is the one that is time. The Greek god is the son of the universe. Uranus and the earth, Gaia. This is, of course, the same story as that in Genesis, i.e., the sons of God being from heavens or universe. Mates with the daughter of a man, human females, or earth to produce mighty offspring, the heroes or gods of old. This is expanded upon in the book of Enoch where 
goes into details of the act. In Roman mythology, Kronos is, of course, Saturn, which is the sixth planet and is often represented with the hexagram, according to Wikipedia. The six-pointed star is commonly used both as a talisman and for conjuring spirits in the practice of witchcraft. In the book, The History and Practice of Magic, Volume 2, the six-pointed star is called the ta talisman of Saturn, and it is also referred to as the Seal of Solomon. From a biblical perspective, Amos 5, 25, 27, King James Version, KGV, 26, ye have borne the tabernacle of your Moloch and chewn your images, the star of your God, which ye made to yourselves. 27, therefore will I cause you to go into captivity beyond Damascus, saith the Lord, whose name is the God of hosts. Yeah, ye took up the tabernacle of Moloch and the star of your god Raphan, Remphan, figures which ye made to worship them, and I will carry you away beyond Babylon. Babylon. Chuen, Kiwen, Kawanau. Remphan is commonly thought to be referring to Saturn also, so what is the importance of the symbol? In my opinion, the symbol represents meeting of heaven and earth, or the mixing of the genes of heavenly entities with earth creatures, which symbolizes exactly what Kronos is, the first Nephilim. Oh, let's go look up what a Nephilim is. The Nephilim were the offspring of the sons of God and the daughters of men. Before the deluge, according to Genesis 6 4 of the Bible, according to Numbers 13 33, they later inhabited Canaan at the time of the Israelite conquest of Canaan. Okay. Saturn's cute. Black cube for me. Shape shift. Faking. Anyways, if you can't see that, the logo right there. You see that everywhere nowadays. Q Q brick uh is confined. Hexagram two six. Length times height type is swollen bone three two six. X marks the spot, the center of the earth, the holy grail. A new world order was the internet. Nuclear weapon, you know, I'm so glad that nukes are fake. Fucking fake ass nukes. So anyway. Okay. Saturn had a golden age. Where... Alright, so let's just say... Let's just say... Earth is here. All right, but it's not a ball. There's the firmament. Well, that's Earth. All right, that's Earth. So, if we took out the moon, or the parasites, whatever the fuck put the moon here, this will become a golden age again. And that's how you fix that problem. You need to leave the Matrix and fucking make heaven on Earth. So the only way to do that is to get to the center of the holy. It's right there. Now there's that there's that sign again. You see what I mean? Right here. Right here. That's what it is. There's the Holy of Holies right here. 
and here's the black here's the entrance to the black hole sun where the light shoots out from the sun into the black sun the black sun spits it out hits the parabolic mirror right the firmament and rains down on you before there used to be a bunch of giant ass fucking trees there so it's fucked up now let's go over what people care about nowadays People care about people care about uh, money, money, gold, anything, anything. So people care about money, gold, anything that is a material worth. Or a lot of money. So this, this is a, so let's go over this. Humans. Are naturally greedy. Well, that's because after the deluge and all those fucking parasites came in, right? After all that bullshit fucking happened, well, they had to place the moon here. The moon. The moon is there now. So now. All of these in free flowing sine waves of male and female energy could not cooperate. They had to flow through the moon. The moon sucks all that and spits it all back out in square waves. This equals confinement. Yeah. Okay. So humans are naturally greedy because of these fucking parasites. A.K.A. Reptilian Influenced By the Archon Demons, whatever the fuck you want to call them They're all created by us Because we have divine creation You have love built into you Love is what you are. Love is what you want. Love is what you care about. Feeling nurtured is what you want. Deep down, you don't want all this money and pussy and all this other bad shit. You know? You want... You want to go to the center of the flat earth plane to go get eternal life and abundance of happiness. Okay? You want to get out of this lifestyle. Caring about fucking money and working. You're a slave to the dollar. And you need to wake up. You're sleeping. You're a slave to the fucking book. Time is time is who rules you. Kronos. 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 I don't know how you spell it, but anyway. Kronos. Is time. So time. Time equals money. And vice versa. As within, so without. Time equals money. Money equals time. So. Everybody's out there caring about fucking all this other dumb shit that they shouldn't be caring about, right? You should be. Caring about your family, you should be earthing and sun gazing. I've been sun gazing for about three days, and I swear to God, today I saw a fucking test rack while I was staring at the sun. I saw a fucking test rack while I was staring at the fucking sun. And I'm starting to feel whole again. You know, I used to feel like I had to hang out with my friends to feel alright and fucking be okay because I was lonely. But now, I realize why I even feel those emotions. And it's because I'm food. To the archons and to the fucking reptilians. It's, they feed off your suffering. They feed off your fucking fear, your anguish, your disgrace, 
suffering anything bad about you that makes you feel bad. It's because your true love at the core, you feel in your soul, right? So here we got the fucking man, right? You're thinking with the brain. You're thinking with your brain. Okay. You think with your brain when you should be thinking with your heart. I know it sounds cliche. You can fuck it and da da da. But you gotta think with your heart. Your true your true your true essence is love. That's what you want in life is fucking love, right? Think with your brain. Think with your heart. Think with your heart. Fuck your brain. Because the brain only wants... It wants greed. It wants to be sustained, right? Because of how we live and how you have to pay for everything in life now. All you can think about is having money so you're fucking okay and set and you don't have to worry about shit. Right? So what you need to do is start thinking with your heart. Loving people. Benefiting all. Benefiting all. Benefiting. Loving, benefiting. Everything. Everything. So... There's good sides to your fucking, there's good sides to your brain, or, yeah, your fucking right brain, left brain, right, you have a divine and feminine side, right, I'll show you guys a picture of that shit. So you got your divine masculine, which is courage, loyalty, firmness, survival. And you got your divine feminine. Now because the moon is here, this is shut the fuck off right now. Shut off. So what you need to do is have tenderness, wisdom, patience, nurturing, flexibility, and fertility. Or just that good stuff, because that's what you want, right? Right? You want this. This is this is what makes you feel good. Right here. You can't fuck it up. You know what I mean? All you want is to feel good in life. And that's the only way to feel good. Having tenderness, wisdom, patience, nurturing, flexibility, and fertility. Because, you know, right now, what's going on is this is dominant. But you're not using your divine masculine. You're just fucking, all these people are mad all the fucking time. And all of these people fucking care about survival. Right? You care about surviving. And the only way to survive is money. Money. Survival equals money. Right. Survival equals money. You can't survive without money. We've all lost our loyalty and courage because now we just listen to everything we're fucking told. And nobody's loyal anymore. Nobody has the courage to fucking express themselves the way they want to. Nobody has the fucking courage to tell the truth. Except for some people, but then nobody has the courage to believe them because they look like a fool. It's just a constant cycle. It's a cycle. You know what I'm saying? Cycle. You see? 